It's a beautiful Monday right in Nigeria. My name is M. Tommy of Peace Ark Ministry. All right, so today I'm here to share something with you. And um, as a matter of fact, I would like you to put up your question here if you have any reservation. Then uh, during the next episode, I'll pick up one of the most interesting questions and we'll talk about it again. All right, so it, it's an open check for you right now. So I want to I wanna share something with you. You know, sometimes we wake up in the night and we pray. People have been having these issues of praying in the night and a whole lot of questions they need to ask. Sometimes you say you sleep with the Bible on your head and you will still be oppressed and you still be attacked in the night. Sometimes even after praying, you lie down, you still be attacked in the night. There's nothing you have not, not done, but there's something you don't know. That's why it keeps coming. That's what I want to share with you today. You see, most of the prayer we pray in the night, it's, it's, it burns out of fear. That prayer is out of fear. Not, you're not just praying because you have confidence. It's out of fear. Because you, you're afraid you're going to be attacked this night and you start praying. That kind of prayer will not work. Oh, if something fell on your roof and you start praying, Oh God, Father, I command every power, fire. That is not, you are praying out of fear. It, it's not, it has not, nothing to do with faith. Or you perceive some aura around you in the house and that's when you start praying. It's still out of fear. Even after that, you will be open, keeping your eyes open, you cover your clothes, cover everywhere, cover your body everywhere to make sure that nothing touches you. It is out of fear. That's why such prayer cannot work. You must also understand that the Bible, the copy of the Bible, has no power. What has power is the word you read. The Bible says, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. The word of God is not the letter. It's the letter kill it, but the spirit gives life. So the word God gives to us, speaks to us as spirit and life. The word, the Bible becomes powerful when you read and ingest it and you say it out. Take for example, when Satan confronted Jesus Christ, none of them were with the copy of the Bible. Satan did not ask Jesus Christ to do anything out of context. And Jesus Christ did not apply Satan out of context. Everything they talked about are all in the Bible. When you don't read the Bible well and you feel with the word, the Holy Spirit will have nothing to remind you of. That's the only, the only thing you know is to shout fire, fire when you wake up in the night. As a Christian, as a powerful Christian indeed, you don't pray because you, should be, you could be attacked. You don't pray because you feel you are under attack. You don't pray because of them. That's why prayer should be a lifestyle you pray all the time. That you should be sensitive in the spirit all the time. When you wake up in the night, you don't just pray, you give orders. You know, sometimes, like here in Africa, we, we spend time every night praying against the, the, the devil, praying against witchcraft. Witchcraft is a spirit. If you are praying against witchcraft, witchcraft, the, the person that carries witchcraft is already on bed sleeping. And the witchcraft in the spirit has left for whatever he's doing. And you wake up every night, you don't rest and just be praying for witchcraft. It shows how inferior, how belittle you are. Because that devil will not even do that to you. So you give order. You continue in your meditation. Sometimes you even ignore them. Because you know that he that is with you is greater than he that with them. So when you stand up in the night, you don't just start saying, every power around this environment, I scatter you in the name of Jesus. That's born out of fear. Take for example, you are praying right now, something drops on the roof, boom, you will, you will, you, will, you know. <laughs> you wake up and you start commanding. I take authority over this environment, this territory. I stand in that mandate by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are gathering, I command you to scatter. You have no right to this environment as long as I'm staying here. You have no right to this territory as long as I'm staying here. You have no right to this environment as long as I'm staying here. You cannot penetrate here. From this day henceforth, I cause every of your activities. I cause your work. I cause your oppression. This is the prayer. This is the prayer of boldness. This is the prayer of confidence. Not fire. Anywhere you're going from, fire. Anywhere you're going from, you will still shut the fire asleep and they will still come back and appraise you. You don't sleep with your Bible on the head. The Bible should be in your heart, not on your head. Not a pillow. You should be a guard in your heart. Because when you are confronted by the devil, when you are attacked, what you do is you start releasing those weapons. You start releasing those words that are life and spirit and you start saying them in context according to what is happening at the moment. 
not shouting fire, fire. By the time you shout fire, you have nothing to say. They will be looking at you because you know nothing. You are just empty. So from tonight, before you sleep, you give orders. And always understand that every environment has a king. Every territory has a power, uh, a superior king. Every territory has a king. Every atmosphere has a king. That street you are living in, that community you are living in, there's somebody that's controlling the, at the spiritual atmosphere. So you can't be under the spiritual atmosphere of the devil and you want to be free. So if you are still in a particular environment, you should be so strong, you should be so wise, you should be so powerful enough to be the one controlling the territory, controlling the environment. You speak and things happen. You speak and you stand, not the other way around. By the time you have another king, you can't have two kings on the throne. By the time you have another person that is controlling the environment, you, you don't be wasting your time praying. You stand up and raise yourself to be the king in that environment. Take charge of that environment. Take charge of that territory. That is the only way you can conquer and stay true. So from tonight, don't just pray out of fear. Speak with confidence. Speak with boldness. Don't spend your time in the night attacking the devil. Don't spend your time in the night fighting witchcraft. Spend your time thanking God. Spend your time asking God for revelation. Not asking God for any power that's around you should die, die, die. That's the prayer of a lazy Christian. That's the prayer of a lazy person. That's the prayer of a fearful Christian. You should be asking God, Father, I want to know this, I want to know that. That's what you woke up in the night to do. Thank God for your life, where you are going to, and where you are right now. Not the other way around. If you keep on praying against witchcraft every day, for one year you'll be praying against witchcraft. Doesn't mean that God is not answering you. you no, know, it, it doesn't mean that. It means that you are praying out of fear, it's not out of faith, so there's no prayer. Because without faith, you can't please God. You can't get God's attention. All right. So if you have any question, please put it up here. And the next episode, I'm going to pick up one of the most interesting questions. And we'll talk about it again in the next episode. God bless you.